For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're going to stop in the Atlanta area for a two-sport star. Of all the high school quarterbacks who are committed to power conference programs, there probably aren't very many who have been playing the position for a short amount of time than Sam Horn. The Missouri commit, who is also a star baseball player, played wide receiver growing up, but he was moved to quarterback as an eighth grader. One of our coaches now, he was like, who plays baseball or anything? I'm like, I know you play baseball, Sam. He's like, you should play quarterback. I was like, okay. So I played quarterback, and uh, it turned out to be a good decision. Uh, we all came up the same, so I was also playing quarterback my freshman year, so, you know, got a battle against Sam Horn. So it was like, I just had to move the receiver. I was like, yeah, he got it. He's an elite athlete. My first year here was his eighth grade year, and we saw it in his eighth grade year that this kid was special and put him at quarterback. So he played it as an eighth grader, but he was new to the position and you know, he's just, he's got a natural quarterback mindset. He's a leader, he's got a, you know, an NFL arm. He's a quick thinker. But probably the best thing about him is that he's a, that he's really cool under pressure. He doesn't panic. Sam's varsity football career got off to an inauspicious start. As a freshman, he debuted late in the season at the end of a lopsided loss and broke his collarbone. Collins Hill finished 3-8 and eight that year, but things got better after that. After leading the Eagles to six wins as a sophomore, Sam helped the team reach the 2020 state championship game, and now Collins Hill is one of the highest rated teams in the country for 2021. We bring a lot to the table. If we didn't have Sam, we wouldn't probably be where we are right now. With him, it's just great because he knows where to put the ball at at the right time, man. And he knows how to spread the ball when he needs to. Sam's great. He's a he's a very great leader on our team. You know, he knows just what to say to us when we need to be said to. And you know, he can lead us. I've gotten a lot more comfortable and I still have a lot to work on, but that's one thing. I feel a lot comfortable going into this year because I mean I've grown up with everybody here and being able to actually lead them and uh, hopefully win a state championship, that's that's gonna be like one of my main goals. As good as he is on the football field, Sam is also outstanding on the baseball diamond. He plays short stop and pitches, and his fastball's been clocked at 93 miles per hour. So while he remains committed to Missouri for two sports, he may have some options going forward. I might have the uh, ability or chance to get drafted out of high school to go to the, um, to the MLB. And uh, that's one thing I've, you know, I've been preparing for and I think would be a, a cool opportunity depending on when I get drafted and stuff that goes with it and everything, you know. It's always good to have, you know, options, either you can go to college or uh, get drafted and stuff like that. I think the whole country ought to take notice of a kid like, like Sam Horn, right? I mean, so many parents try to specialize, uh, you know, we're baseball players or we're football players and that's where we're gonna focus. You take a look at a kid like Sam Horn who has done both. During the summer, he's playing football and baseball. If you're a great athlete, you can do both. You know, I think, I think you hurt yourself by doing just one sport. And so I think, you know, Sam is, is a great example to the whole country. Go be a kid, go have fun. And, and, and if, you're, if you're really that good of a player, the colleges are gonna find you. You know, say, how many kids have been traveled all over the country since they were, you know, 11, 12 years old all these quarterback circuits and all that. And here Sam Horn comes in as a ninth grader and first offense he ran was a wing tee, so he wasn't really even throwing the ball, you know? And now he's ranked number seven quarterback in the country. Uh, the dream is a professional sport, something professional, hopefully either football or baseball, you know, depending on whichever one I think is right or fits me best, I'll choose, which is great to have those options. But, um, you know, we'll see where it takes me. But, you know, I'm excited for whichever way it goes. Considering how far he's come in a relatively short time playing quarterback, the future for this versatile athlete seems limitless. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.